Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be doing a quick video on the tier list of what you should be getting in anime vanguards if you are looking to spend any money. Before we begin, I'd just like to quickly mention that we are doing a giveaway of VIP and battle passes in our Discord, so the link will be in the description for that. And also, every video, I'll be doing a quick giveaway of VIP, uh, just popping a code right here. Um, so, yeah, if you guys are interested, uh, just like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, so it'll be early to see that. Let's begin. So what's the characteristic that distinguishes these two beings? There's only one answer. This honestly would just be if you have the if you have the money and if you prefer it, I'd put it at a waste. But the, because I, I genuinely just don't enjoy it myself. But honestly, if you do like seeing six units and you have the money, this is pretty much decent, I guess. Um, what we'll have next is the the plus fifty sort of um, unit slots, like inventory slots. Again, this will be just a waste. It's just just to make life a bit easier, unless you have. 50 items like or 50 units or items that you sort of want to keep that are on top of the 100 which is really really unlikely as one of every legendary and epic which is most mostly what you need would get you around maybe 30 slots um so this is pretty much just a waste you don't need this at all the next thing will be shiny hunter again i'll put this at a waste but further down in the tier list only because um i'm sorry a higher up in the tier list so uh, you could you can definitely benefit from this if you really want to find a shiny but again getting a shiny is such a slim chance in my opinion it's just a waste i wouldn't get it um i do own it because i wasted 50 dollars again i wouldn't suggest this unless you're really hunting for shinies but again shinies don't have any benefits in the game it's just the way they look honestly i still would like to get one but again the chances on these are so slim i really wouldn't suggest it the next one is skip 10 uh, honestly, I would put this at the biggest waste of money there is, as you will be earning levels as you play the game anyway. It's just not worth doing uh, anything about that. Like you, you can just play the game and you earn the battle pass anyway. So I really, really wouldn't suggest you um, get that at all. Uh, the next thing I'll do is potions. I will put this at. I'm gonna put this at decent. I was gonna put it at much, much lower. The only reason I'm putting this at decent is again, the useful to hunt for Alucard, Mythicals, um, just like um, the 900, just the 100 Robux one will give you an additional 25%. If you're spending 100K at once, this is sort of pretty much the, uh, you know what? No, I'll put this at a high if you have the money. Again, it's not really, no, nah, I'll put this at decent. I'm gonna stick with decent because again, 25% chance higher just by spending 100 Robux if you're doing something heavy you're going for alucard or a secret or if you're going for a shiny mythical this will be one of your best friends it's just the lucky one itself is the ultra lucky is the only thing stopping me from putting this at um, a high decent the next decent will be the bundle um, again it gives you about 2,000 robux worth of items just from the trade rules alone if you use like the most most expensive um, trade bundle as well so for 600 robux this is pretty pretty decent um, Actually, I might put, I'll put this at a musket. It's gonna be a low tier musket because again, just the amount of money you'll be saving just by buying the bundle instead of the straight trade rolls. I'll put this at a musket. Gems, I was gonna put this at a waist, but I'm not sure. I will put this at, a low tier ju ju just a ways to get i will put this above the other two only because if you have the money uh like a lot of money you can definitely get a lot of gems for a pretty decent amount so I'll, i would definitely put this at just uh, a waste but again low tier i will still get the shiny hunter over gems any day but that would be my honest opinion the next one is trait rerolls um put this at low tier if you have the money only reason why it's not above the, the sort of 
six show six units again now i'm gonna put if you i'm gonna put this further down in the list again this is just a waste you don't get anything it's just cosmetics same thing as the the shiny hunter it's just a waste like the chances of getting them are so low the only reason i'm putting trait rerolls at if you have the money if you have a lot of money you can definitely benefit from trait rerolls the most but again the number one must thing must get is definitely the battle pass if you can't buy it trade for it um, because this is definitely number one, only because of the fact that it gives you almost 80 rerolls, 20,000 gems, um, stat resets, so much you get just from this premium pass. I would definitely put this at number one. This is, I'd say I'd, I'd agree with this overall. This is just pretty much a waste. I wouldn't get gems because I can macro them overnight. Shinies aren't really that useful. Um, the show six units, I find completely useless. Um, the, the additional 50, you don't need this at all. And the, you'll get this by playing the game anyway. The trade rerolls only if you have a lot of money would I even think that they're worth it. Obviously, I know a lot of play to wins would definitely benefit from this. The decent is definitely the potions. Again, 25% chance higher um, to get any unit you want, especially Alucard or just even shiny mythicals in general. Uh, and then obviously the 20% off everything, a pretty good sale. And then the overpowered battle pass. That's pretty much the end of the video. That was all the game passes sort of um, ranked and which ones I feel like you should get and which ones you should pretty much avoid. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys um, enjoyed and found that entertaining or helpful. If you guys did, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see you in the next video.